friends today in this video we will discuss about uh, membrane fluidity and the factors which regulates this fluidity so membrane fluidity is uh, determined by uh, relative moment of lipid which depends on intermolecular attraction between the lipid so the intermolecular attraction in this case are van der Waals force the hydrophobic force if this forces uh, between the lipids are very strong the membrane is very tightly packed and there will be no fluidity if the intermolecular attraction between those lipids are weak then the membrane will be more fluidic in nature so here we can see the arrangement of lipid within the membrane let us suppose since we can see that these structures are very organized highly order the intermolecular attraction between these two lipid uh, such as uh, van der Waal or hydrophobic force uh, these interactions are very strong and as a result of which this membrane is very orderly structured and tightly packed so they are more rigid in structure but as we increase the temperature uh, the kinetic energy of this lipid molecule will increase and the lipid will tend to disorganize they will start moving so we can see here the structures are not organized or not ordered so by increasing the temperature we usually weaken up this interaction between the lipid and the membrane lipid starts to move so if the force between them is very strong at a very low, low temperature when the membrane is uh, usually rigid this intermolecular attraction between the lipid molecules are very strong and they are rigid and they are very compact in structure but when this intermolecular force disorganized or when this membrane is subjected to a high temperature we can see the relative movement of lipid usually starts so this membrane fluidity depends on the intermolecular attraction between the lipid molecule here in this class we can see that at a very low temperature the membrane have a rigid because they are tightly packed but as the temperature increases the membrane become more disorganized they are more fluidic in nature so the temperature at which this transition begins to occur from solid to fluidic state this temperature is known as tm temperature so tm is that transition temperature at which this transitions occur from solid to fluidic character so the intermolecular force of attraction between the lipid molecules plays a major role so here we will discuss about the strength of intermolecular force which depends on several factors because as we have said that this strength of molecular force uh, determines whether the membrane will be tightly packed or, or, or whether they will be disorganized or will be more fluidic in nature uh, this is governed by several factors such as length of fatty acid chains degree of unsaturation and concentration of cholesterol this three point affect the strength of intermolecular force which in turn determines the fluidity of a membrane so let's discuss about this length of fatty acid chain uh, so let us consider about uh, consider that there are two membrane uh, in, in 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 first case the the carbon tail of this uh, lipid is usually let us suppose uh, c18 larger tail while in the second case uh, let us suppose this lipid have a shorter tail okay so the length of the fatty acid chain in first case is uh, larger while in second case is smaller so how this length of fatty acid chain affects the fluidity of a membrane so as we have said that the c18 case which have a large carbon tail the intermolecular force between the two lipid will be greater because more surface area is there so larger number of this intermolecular force of attraction will occur while in case of shorter chain since the surface area is less so less bond will form between them so the more the bond will form between them the more they are uh, close to each other the more they are tightly packed but the less the bonds are formed the less they are organized the less tightly structure they form then the, and the more fluidic in nature they are so so the more longer chain 
the more vulnerable interaction because they are getting more surface area as we know that 18 uh, the, the chain having a uh, 18 carbon is definitely bigger than the chain having 14 carbon so they will having more vulnerable interaction so as a result of which the membrane will be more tightly packed and the fluidity will be less because highly or highly packaged or tightly packaged membranes are more rigid in nature rather than fluidy uh, so let us discuss about the second point the degree of unsaturation so here we can see the composition of uh, two membrane let's say one composed of uh, only saturated fatty acid which do not contain um, any double bond while the second one which contain uh, acid double bond so here we can see that in this case um, in, for uh, saturated fatty acid chain the intermolecular between this force between these two carbon chain is uniform while in this case because a kink has been produced by this double bond the intermolecular force will be between them will be very less so as a result of which when this kink is present less intermolecular force uh, you know, bonds are formed and um, uh, the bonds between them are also less stable so they tend to be more fluidic in nature compared to this saturated fatty acid chain where the intermolecular forces are uniform they are more stable and while in case of this um, unsatur unsaturated fatty acid chain where uh, a double bond which produces a kink usually interfere with the formation of van der Waal force throughout the chain and as a result of this less van der Waal force attraction between the lipid molecule um, makes a very less tightly structured membrane and as a result of which um, the membrane becomes more fluidic so this kinks interfere with the formation of vandalwar force and it also uh, does not allow the membrane to uh, be tightly packed therefore the membrane become more fluid in nature so kink in chain less vandalwar interaction less order structure and more fluidity while the last point is the concentration of cholesterol so we know that cholesterol consists of steroid ring and a hydrophilic OH group reaction between the uh, the steroid ring and uh, this um, chain of lipid the the membrane become more tightly packaged and as a result of which the membrane is more rigid rather than fluidic so cholesterol basically prevents the fluidity of a membrane and it also restricts the phase transition that is it does not allow the transition from fluid to rigid or from rigid state to fluid state so this is how cholesterol works so i hope you have understand that this three point the length of a fatty acid chain the degree of unsaturation and the concentration of cholesterol all these three points plays a major part in the fluidity of a membrane and i hope you guys have understood the concept thanks for watching please like and don't forget to subscribe thank you